All right, guys, what's going on? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the Dirty Breads, I guess we're calling them, uh, right here, of the uh, Air Jordan 13s. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of the other Air Jordan 13s that I have and for uh, comparative purposes and whatnot. Um, and uh, these things are pretty uh, pretty crazy. There's a bunch of different materials. Um, it's all black upper, but obviously there's a bunch of different materials. Um, you have this kind of the standard Air Jordan 13 right here, but with the tumbled leather. And then it's like that suede-like material right down here. And then you have regular kind of tumbled leather here, which... This leather and this leather don't look like they're a perfect, like a perfect match, uh, which I don't know if people care about that or not. I'm just showing you on some of the older pairs right here. Like, uh, it's not as pebbled as the ones that I have right here. And it's not as pebbled as the ones that I have right here. So it is different looking. Um, and in my opinion, these two look better than, than, this, than this one, to be honest, for that kind of pebbled look. But these ones... It looks the same. So isn't that kind of crazy? Like these these ones, the breads, and these ones look the same. So I don't know. It's kind of weird that that it's like that. But I wanted to give you guys kind of a visual. Let's see here. How do I do this? Uh, visual comparison between these and some of the other sneakers. So it's kind of like the breads here. You can see the pods are, are crisscrossed. And then this material is obviously um, black and, and red. So it's different there. The coloring is different also. But it's pretty cool. They're pretty much the same things as these color-wise. Um, and then also, if you really want to look at it, like it's really like the, the bread or the red version of, of these right here. So it's the uh, pretty much the same material type, the way that they, that they made everything. Like this kind of the suede type material. And then, and then you have the tumbled on both right here. And, uh, and then the pods are just different colors. The bottoms, this one has like that crazy colored one versus this one's kind of smoked out. And then you have the white sections and then mostly black instead of red on this one. So that, that's a little bit of a subtle change as well, but pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people, I posted a picture of them. Those two. Down goes Frazier. I did a, a video of those two uh, next to each other and or a picture of them on, on Instagram and people were like, oh, these uh, playoffs all day long over top of those. And I'll have to say, yeah, of course. I mean, but I do like what these have to offer because it's nice to see a pair of, of Jordans that are retroing in like Chicago type colorways, black and red, white. Uh, if, if they come out with black and red and white like Jordans, no matter what the model, they're going to style it, in my opinion. Um, I mean, obviously I have one, two, three, four, five different colorways, different variations of the same kind of fundamental thing um these ones are probably my favorite ones i had these ones way back in the day as well and uh i don't know these are just one of my favorite ones and then you guys may or may not remember um i did get these ray allen ones but i you know i don't know i try to get a like a legit check on them i'm not 100 percent sure if they're legit it is carbon fiber i mean they're nice made but they just feel different i've said that enough times um but yeah, I mean, I bought them off of eBay from somebody. So obviously that was one of those shoes that was really, really replicated and quite easy to make uh, or get like a bur get burnt on that one. And I feel like I got burnt on them. Um, it's just not one I hold proudly in the collection. So kind of crappy. Sometimes that happens. I paid uh, a good amount of money for them. So like the fact of the matter is like if I paid for like a rep, uh, I'm not, not super happy about it. That's why I started to loosen up like two years ago and, and just dabble a little bit on eBay, try to find some stuff. Uh, but if you really don't know what you're looking for and if you really don't know what they make in replica versions, it's really important to uh, to do your research and verify 100% that they're unauthorized or authorized or whatever they are. Especially with like the Columbia's coming up, there's tons and tons of unauthorized versions out there. Uh, you just got to really, really be careful. Same as the Pantone 11s. Um, just be careful. That's all I have to say. These ones... Um, they're not going to be as difficult to, because people will have receipts and stuff like that. Um, not that the receipt is the end all be all, but at least it's kind of some sort of a, a check for you to use. Um, but it is what it is. Anyway, the on foot section should be on, on the screen. Um, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you guys think about the, the new dirty breads or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I think it's a, it's a nice looking sneaker. It's interesting to see the difference in the, uh, the like pebbled leather on two of the shoes. It's different than the other two. Um, but obviously the he got games and the playoffs and like was the cherry 13s if that's what you want to call them those ones are um some fan favorites i never i didn't even show you guys the 
the other ones, the French Blues, th those are another uh, fan favorite as well. And then the uh, the Bread 13s. If pretty much 13s are one of the, the last kind of respected uh, Jordans in the lineup. And um, I don't know. There's lots of other models that I love, but the 13 is definitely one that I – uh, think is a, is a dope model and looking forward to uh, seeing what else they come. I really wish I had the bin 13s out of um, the 13s and out of the bin series. Actually, those I really, really, really wanted and I uh, didn't end up getting them and can't play, I can't pay a stack for them, unfortunately. Just not my thing. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.